great. Welcome back to our channel Aglasim Schools. Today we will be covering chapter 1 that is number systems. So starting with the first question of our fifth exercise that is 1.5. Our first question says classify the following numbers as rational or irrational. So first part says 2 minus root 5 which is irrational number. And the second says 3 minus root 23 minus root 23 which is rational number. Third part says 2 root 7 upon 2 root 7 that is equals to 2 by 7 which is rational number. Fourth part says 1 by root 2 which is irrational number. Fifth part says 2 pi which is irrational number. Moving to our second question which says simplify each of the following expressions. So part 1 says 3 plus root 3 and 2 plus root 2. So the answer is 6 plus 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 plus root 6. Second part says 3 plus root 3 and 3 minus root 3. So the answer is 3 square minus root 3 whole square. By applying this formula that is a plus b a minus b which will give you a square minus b square. So the answer will be 6. Moving to a third part which says root 5 plus root 2 whole square. So root 5 whole square plus root 2 whole square plus 2 into root 5 into root 2. That is a plus b whole square which, is, which gives you a square plus b square plus 2ab. So the answer will be 7 plus 2 root 10. Moving to a fourth part which says root 5 minus root 2 root 5 plus root 2. So the answer is root 5 whole square minus root 2 whole square which will give you 5 minus 2 that is 3. Moving to a third question which says recall pi is divided as the ratio of the circumference is c of the circle of its diameter say d that is pi is equal to c upon d dash. This seems to contradict the fact that pi is irrational. How will you solve the contradiction? So the answer is when the scale of the tape we get only an approximate rational number as a result of our measurement. Therefore pi can be approximately represented as the quotient of the two rational number as a mathematical truth that is irrational. Moving to our fourth question which says Rationalize the denominators of the following. So part 1 says 1 upon root 7. That gives you 1 upon root 7 into root 7 into upon root 7 which will give you root 7 upon 7. Moving to a second part which says 1 upon root 7 minus root 6. That means 1 upon root 7 minus root 6 multiplied by root 7 plus root 6 divided by root 7 plus root 6. So the answer will be root 7 plus root 6 divided by root 7 whole square minus root 6 whole square that will give you root 7 plus root 6. Moving to a third part which says 1 upon root 5 plus root 2 that is 1 upon root 5 plus root 2 multiplied by root 5 minus root 2 divided by root 5 minus root 2 which will give you the answer that is root 5 minus root 2 divided by 3. Moving to our fourth part which says 1 upon root 7 minus 2. So the answer is 1 upon root 7 minus 2 multiplied by root 7 plus 2 divided by root 7 plus 2. That will give you by solving this root 7 plus 2 upon 3. This is all for this exercise guys. If you have any query or any doubt related to any of the questions discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For regular updates and information, please subscribe to our channel Agla Same Schools. We wish you a safe life and do take care of yourself.